While lightening objects with different types of lamps, the result we see can be different. We mean the different color rendering, how the object or the picture will look under the light of this or that lamp, but not bright as of a lamp. Sometimes colors will look more precise and natural, but sometimes they will differ from those in daylight conditions. Let us remember what occurs when it's a lamp with red light filter. Light spectrum of lamps is not regular and color rendering depends on lamp energy in this or that part of spectrum. Character of color rendering describes us to what extent surrounding objects look natural under light of this lamp. To define quantity, we use a color rendering index. It's a relative quantity from 0 to 100, describing how much color under light of the tested lamp corresponds to natural color of the object. 100 means full correspondence as under sunlight. That is, while lightning by such a tested light source colors are extremely true, incandescent lamps are close to such results. Index is usually denoted with RA, eight test colors lighted with a test lamp and then with a standard lamp of the same color temperature are used for defining this index. The less difference between test colors in rendering the better color rendering of a tested lamp that, depending on index rate, is characterized as a lamp with low, sufficient, good or very good color rendering. There exist a system that mathematically compares changes in color spectrum for the same colors lighted with a standard light source. Average differences are deducted from 100 and you get a color rendering index. Comfort values for human eye begin from 80. On this basis, light emitting diode lamps are good. Then we should ask ourselves a question. What is this index for? For classifications of light sources. It is used for understanding of designation of different lamps. 